Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lens, and recently Strava updated its iPhone app to enable you to bring in and import your activities from your Apple Workout. So that means when you start a workout on your Apple Watch just using the basic Apple Watch Workout app, it'll immediately sync with health and then sync with Strava, and even give you maps and analysis, heart rate, elevation, all that kind of stuff within the app itself. So I wanted to run down a quick tutorial for you just to show you how easy it is to set up and how it works. So the first step of course is setting up Strava to link with your Apple Health app. And to do that, you just open your Strava app, hit the little profile tab on the bottom, and then you will see there's a settings cog right in the top right hand corner. Select this, and then about a third of the way down the screen, there's an option that says applications services and devices. Tap on that and then select health from the services menu and then select health again. Now this is where you connect with Apple Health. It gives Apple Health permission to read data from Strava and Strava the permission to read data from Apple Health. In order to get it to work so that it pulls your Apple workouts from health into Strava, you have to make sure you toggle send to health and then notifications for new workouts. Make sure those are both on. Now what you'll find in the new app as well is that any workouts you've done in the last 30 days on your Apple Watch will show up in a list below those options. So if you want to, you can import all of those manually. Anything before 30 days sadly doesn't seem to show up in that list. Now once you've done everything we've shown you in this video to set Strava up to speak with Apple Health, what you can then do is just go on your Apple Workouts as normal on your Apple Watch. So select the walking or the cycling or whatever you happen to be doing. And then once you've finished, come back to your iPhone. Now what happens is once the Apple Watch and the iPhone have spoken to each other and synced the activity, you can go into the Strava app and you'll see a little notification in the little notification bell in your feed. And here you can see that it says right at the top, your Apple Watch workout is ready to import. Now, when you tap on that notification, it'll bring you to that list of workouts. You can tap import and you're ready to go. It'll import into your feed and show up as a normal Strava activity. Once you've done that, you can go to your feed. Just click on your tab so you can see only your activities rather than all your contacts and you'll see that all of your activities from your Apple Watch have been pulled in. If you've been outside running or walking or cycling, you'll see they've even got a map on them showing you where you went and the route that you took. And if you view analysis, you can have a deep dive into your elevation, your pace, your heart rate and your heart rate zones if you're a Summit user. It's actually really rather good. So that's been it, a quick tutorial for you on how to use your Apple Watch workouts with Strava. We hope you found this useful. If you have, please do thumbs up this video, hit subscribe and wait for more videos. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. I'll see you again soon.